Okay, so <clears throat> stripped the forms today. Um, <clears throat> I lost uh, some of the uh, couple of the tuba sixes. Um, I couldn't get them out of the out of the footers, so that's why I put the two by sixes on the bottom and the <clears throat> two by tens on the top. Because I'd much rather, you know, lose a, a two by six and a two by ten. Stack all the two by tens over there. Um, I'm going to use them for the flooring when I do the subfloor. Clean them up and put them up stacked over there. Rest of the lumber stacked over there beside my trailer. So. <clears throat> Anyhow, it came out really, really well. I'm really, really happy with it. The, uh, the cabin is 24 by 36, and so according to Pythagorean's theorem, <clears throat> it should come out corner to corner um, if you're square at 100 or <clears throat> at 43 feet, 3 inches, about a 43 feet, 3 and a 16th of an inch. These are 43 feet three and one sixteenth of an inch. They are perfectly square. I went across, uh, found the center point on the, each end and on each side <clears throat> measures perfectly 24 feet and 36 feet. So, you know, the foundation, the stem wall is perfectly square. The uh, corners, we took a lot of time doing it too. The corners all came out looking like that. They're just crisp and sharp. You know, there's no voids in the stem wall that I can find. Um, <clears throat> and so really happy with how it all all came out. You can see down the middle is where I, I wet set my uh, pillars that are gonna be the supports down through the uh, middle of the uh, support beam down through the middle of the uh, subfloor. So it's looking good. I <laughs> put that uh, electrical 20 foot continuous rebar it comes up out of the footers uh, for the electrical um, inspector. Um, I'll fill, fill this up with gravel in here next, and I'm going to put two inch, um, two inch uh, <clears throat> styrofoam um, insulation around the edges. I'm going to encapsulate the bottom in here. I'll put gravel in here and try to find some sand to put in here. And then I'll fully encapsulate the crawl space with uh, 20 mil uh, plastic. Um, and I'll have a crawl space, as I said earlier, in the bedroom where I, I get down into the crawl space. I'll have it fully lit also in there in a humidifier. So <laughs> I guess it's... Uh, for a cabin, I'm getting a little bit technical, but I want to make sure that it, it uh, you know, stays dry and under the subfloor. And one thing we're going to do is, <clears throat> next time we come up, we're going to uh, put a put a French drain all the way around and then drain it off down over in this area to keep any any water. The water table table here is fairly high. So I want to keep water out of the subfloor and out from underneath the house. <clears throat> the only thing that we had some issues with or that messed up, we kind of had some of our footers down through here, you see, where they kind of blew out a little bit. But we had a little blowout around um, the way we built the, the subfloor with the footers. It's a continuous pour. So I knew I was going to lose some of these tuba sixes because we had blowout um when we poured the the footers went around we poured the footers first and then we poured the stem wall but it it uh came out really really well and i'm really happy with it um it's a very very strong straight foundation when you pour your subfloor and your um, when you pour your stem wall with your footers at the same time you don't have two separate pours that are just held together by rebar when you pour them together you have a very very solid foundation and we have a lot of rebar in the corners a lot of rebar we put three down on the footers i reinforced all the corners and down some of the sides where there was seems to be a little bit of moisture and uh, also ran vertical and horizontal rebar 
through. We have, I, I don't know, uh, just a lot of rebar reinforced in this foundation. So worked out great. I really like the way that the I used the WT8 Simpson Strong Ties to tie the the boards together to give it strength when we did the pour. They didn't move. The boards didn't move. Those strong ties with the wedges, <clears throat> WT8s, they're just, they're really good for doing something like this. <clears throat> the cement guys that came said, we were old school. He says he hasn't seen a foundation that was formed up like this for years and years and years in this area. He said, this is the way they used to do it. He said, this is the way to do it. And then he told us, he said, who taught you how to do this? And I said, a guy, I watched a guy on YouTube, because he couldn't believe this is our first time we ever set up forms. I said, I watched a guy by the name of Dave Osland on YouTube. And I just kind of patterned after what Dave said. And it came out really well. I'm glad I, I'm glad I followed his, his formula. So <clears throat> anyhow, this is the foundation. Next step, French drain encapsulate and then the subfloor talk to you later